we've, um, we've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, equations and graphs and, and um, uh, domains and ranges and um, all those kind of things. And so this is going to tie in with this, but it's, I guess it is a slightly different scenario because we're not talking about what happens to serve, we're not talking about a function. Someone remind us again, what is the definition of a function? That's right, so that's the vertical line test. Um, we can also talk more formally about, we can also talk more formally about a function is a set of ordered pairs where no x value is common in more, more than one of those pairs. So there can only be one uh, x value in each pair, or a unique x value in each, x value in each pair. And so that's a problem here because this point here and this point here for a circle have the same x value, don't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, they have different y values, the same x value. We could also talk about the fact that this point here and this point here have the same y value but different x values. That's okay in a function. We can have the same y value in a function in two pairs or more than two pairs but we cannot decide x function as x value. So when we're moving to these circles now, we're going to be able to do some things to make them functions, but in general, a circle is not a function, okay? It's an important thing to remember as we start. Well, let's think a little bit more about a circle. How would you define what a circle is? Round. <laughs> That's not really a definition, it's describing it, but how could you define it? Yeah, it is round, but how would you define a circle? A shape of a two dimensional sphere. Okay, and so it has some relation to a sphere. How do you, how do you draw a circle? Like, how, if you're going to do it really precisely, it's maybe you do what I do and just do that. It's 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 a but but how, how, do we, how do you do it? It's just a distance. Okay, right, so we're getting somewhere here. So, diameter? Yes, this is diameter. Is there another way we can talk about that, though? Maybe not diameter. Radius. Radius, okay. And, so, and what is what is a radius? From the center to the outer. No, from one side to another. That's a diameter. A radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the circle itself. It's a constant. Isn't it? okay. And it's a constant. All right, we're trying to get some good terms for definitions. We can define a circle as this. is the set of all points that are equidistant, same distance, that are equidistant from a fixed point. Okay, and this fixed point is different to these all other points. The fixed point is the center. In this case, if I've drawn this well, let's use the origin as the center. So a circle is the set of all points that are equidistant from a fixed point, from a single fixed point. So this point here, where this green dot here is, if I've drawn my circle well, but in theory, this is the same distance from that to the center as from this <coughs> Uh, point up here to the center, from this point here to the center, this point here to the center, this point here to the center. They're all the same distance from the center. That's what we talk about when it comes to radius, isn't it? The radius is that distance from the fixed point. So we're going to come up with an equation to describe that in the Cartesian plane using x's and y's. We're going to use that definition set of all points that are equidistant from a fixed point. Let's put some numbers to it, okay? Let's say we've actually got a circle. We're going to have a, the distance from all the points of the circle to the centre as 5. So the distance is going to be 5. So you could come up with some points immediately. Give me one point you know will be on now as part of that circle. Five zero, perfect. 
Right, so this point here is 5, 0. Because that's 5 from there. What's another point? 0, 5. 0, 5, up here. What else? Negative 5, 0. Negative 5, 0 over here. And uh, 0, negative 5. That's awesome. Okay, we've got four points. There's a whole lot more points out there. All these points in between. And in fact, there's an infinite number of points that exist on this circle. How can we come up with an equation that describes how we can calculate each of those points? Yeah, that's not an equation, unfortunately. So, what do we know? Let's, let's, let's uh, isolate one of these points here. Let's say this point here, we know that that is 5. Okay, we know that distance is 5. If I were to say, well, let's consider at this point here, let's, let's call that just x. We'll just call it x for the moment. And this point here, we're going to call that y. What do we know about the x and the y? If that distance is going to be five, they are less than five. They are less than five. Yep, sure, that's great. I'm going to put a writing one there too, just to help us out, just to think about what that might be. Let's just say it's squared to the top side. Okay, so uh, Caleb here is is uh, thinking about Pythagoras. He's saying, all right, that's a writing of triangle, and I know the hypotenuse of that writing of triangle is five, and so. If I square one side of the triangle and I square the other side and I add those two together, what does that equal? Five. The hypotenuse squared. That's Pythagoras, isn't it? Pythagoras says that um, A squared, and we used these letters before we've done Pythagoras earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whichever way you want to talk about it, but yes, we've used different things. <laughs> but now we're going to say something a bit different. Well, not different, we're going to use that, but write it a different way to describe our circle. So we know that the hypotenuse is always 5. Whatever point you put in there, the hypotenuse of that, the right angle triangle that forms, is always 5, isn't it? Okay? I could put a point down here and put a hypotenuse down here and make it right angle triangle. Still, the hypotenuse is 5. Okay? No matter where you put your point on the circle, with the exception of the points you've already identified, because there's no triangle form. But anywhere else you put it, there's going to be a right angle triangle formed with the hypotenuse of 5. And so always we're going to have 5 squared equals something else. But what, what are we going to say now about these other two points? What is that distance there? X. It is X, isn't it? Because we're starting from the origin to the point X, and so it's just going to be X. And I'll square that. And what's that distance there? Y. Right, so I add that one. Square. That there is the equation that describes all of the points of the circle. Okay? That is the equation of the circle. Now, we've talked about five, but someone wanted to write this in a really general form. Whatever the radius is, that's the equation. R squared equals x squared plus y squared. Going back to our particular example though, let's use the example with the radius of 5. I could ask the question, well, what are the, <coughs> what are the two points of the circle that have an x value of 2? Okay? What are the two points of the circle that have an x value of 2. And so I say, alright, well 5 squared equals 2 squared, and that's going to be my x value, plus y squared. Okay, so we're asking 2 to be about here, so what is that point there and what is that point there? Is that right? Okay. So 2 there. So 5 squared, 25, equals 4 plus y squared, therefore y squared equals 21. What is y equal? Plus or minus squared. 
plus or minus square root of 21, which is 4 point something. Okay, and so the two points are 2 comma root 21 and 2 comma negative root 21. They're those two points that have an x value of 2. Okay, so using our equation, we can now find any point we need to find on that circle. 